What's up guys? This is the Brofman and I am back to bring you to the next episode of my Napoleon Total War 3 Let's Play as the Swedish Empire. So to pick up where we left off, we have pretty much blown a hole right through the Prussian Empire and we're going to attack the northern city of Danzig and bring it into our forces. And as we can see, most of their army is just militia. So let's attack the city and take it for our own. And then we can have a bit of a time a bit of time to Rest, recuperate, realign our forces ready for the next offensive and maybe even focus on attacking um, Italy, clearing out the Iberian Peninsula and opening up a southern front towards the Ottomans. Ooh, okay, so... So I'll stay back here. I want to put most of my actual infantry, including my grenadiers, out in the open field, as the city itself is going to be screened by my foot guards, backed up with some light infantry, then a foot jaeger is going to go around on the left, howitzer is going to follow up the main line. Two cavalry units are going to follow the right flank, while two are going to push the left. There we go. When preparing for a melee. So let's take. Can you see where they are? Keep my light infantry moving up as well. My cavalry doesn't really have to go anywhere. Okay, you can't see anything either, so let's limber you up. But yeah, driving through the going through the town is is dodgy. Feels like it's dodgy in Napoleon Total War, considering how your morale quickly falls off a cliff once you get charged. So it feels like you probably want to spend the time in the open field where you can actually put bring firepower to bear. Let's take a bit longer, but we're going to work our way around the left flank. Uh, keep the howitzers moving up. Keep the general moving up. At some point they will all suddenly pop into view because they'll be <laughs> they'll manoeuvre. I'd like to see if I could take this farmhouse, form a solid line here, then kind of cover this flank while then pushing around the left. That would be ideal, which means I'd like to get my foot jaeger into there. So let's take these three units and push up the left of the house, get my foot jaeger inside, get... Okay, so we've got a bit of terrain shenanigans going on. Oh, okay, there's like a there's a there's a tree and some shacks. Actually, you guys all form Solid line. Push my cavalry up on the left. Where's my 12s all the way back here? Let's try to get them up here instead. I could 
advanced, but I'm more inclined to kind of keep... Well, I suppose really I ought to stretch out those guys like that. Keep a unit of lifeguard. Back here with these units to cover my right flank. Keep my cavalry moving. Push my howitzers up one last little bit. My general will take the high ground. So there's a unit showing all the way over here that's coming over into the centre, which is good. Looks like there are all more of them are actually in here than they previously were. Get my right flank to run. Bring my cavalry up closer. Up. Damn right we're taking a building, although it's pretty screened by trees. Might even take my light horse by holding shift. You can queue up orders, but obviously, if I right click here, they're going to walk to here. And if I just hold shift right click, each of these subsequent orders is given a walk order. So it's going to take me a bit of time to get over here. I guess we started to attack from the town, from the, um, the building. Let's unlimber our howitzers. You need a militia, you need to finish troops. Got the grenadiers that are waiting in the woods for the Prussians to arrive. So it's not engage the 24th, engage the 10th regiment to the rear. Because these guys are already being fired upon. My howitzers are engaging another component of the line. Get you guys to attack the 39th. This unit of militia is going to hit our line. It's guard mode off bayonet charge. You guys withdraw. So you units now push up. Okay, there we go. So now we've got a concentration of troops heading towards the town, being held up by my grenadiers. A couple of these units are going to push through the town. May even take you guys and shout for that corner off there. Good, so now you, you units can push up here, you guys can push around the flank. Your job is just to mow down the land there a little bit more, but then get out of there, get to the rear. Grenadiers are doing a good work here, holding off the enemy. Where's my general? Make sure he's covering the grenadiers. Cavalry over here. My grenadiers are engaging the land there. How are my grenadiers doing? They're doing okay. They're not doing stellar. Make sure all these guys are fire at will on. I'm going to have to get my foot Jaeger out of here, but my lifeguarder. There we go, one unit of partisans is guaranteed. Uh, partisans? 
in my grenadiers to pursue. My grenadiers can pursue, get my foot Jaeger out, because it looks like they're starting to engage my entrenchments. Charge my grenadiers into the 38th regiment, bring, bring my general back up to provide morale support. Not my main line. Advance. My grenadiers should win against a militia garrison unit. The cavalry charge the 27th regiment. The men are fatigued, sir. I must rest. I'm sure they are fatigued. So my cavalry and a smash into the 27th regiment to the rear. Get my foot Jaeger involved as well. How it's still dropping shells in. Ooh, excellent hit. Blew that cavalryman right out of the saddle. Excellent volley here into the light horse. Same with my militia here, they don't care. They're broken, pull my cavalry back. Now, suddenly, I'm not so bothered about advancing through the town anymore. I thought you could try to secure that farmhouse. So these units, well, they're definitely gone. Make sure my howitzers are still engaging the right targets. My 12 pounders on the hill ought to be doing some good. Push my light dragoons up behind the line to provide some cover. Then when my 12s take position, they can unlimber. See my cavalry back here is tired and very oh. tired. Sir, our general is under attack. Yeah, he's being hit by misses. Okay, let's... Suddenly my foot guards are going to be getting a mission to push to the rear. Cavalry's not going to leave them alone. My twelves are Glorious barrage the militia. Everyone's fleeing through the town. You may run up here and try to charge. Obviously, some of our troops got into a bit of a scrap prior to getting into position. And you men charge into this block of troops right here. You men hit the 7th, my horse guards hit the light horse. Now you guys should be able to get yourselves some experience here. Killing so many Prussians. Time to burn it, charge. Cease fire the guns. Enemy the general's been fatigued, killed. Sir, I, must rest a while. I don't give a damn about fatigue. These men need to die. Let's bring 
my general over to the front line. You guys didn't even get experience sh experience chevron out of that. Oh, well, there's plenty more glory to be gained, but still, that's Gdansk secured. We're going to occupy the city because there's no point in looting. You men reinforce. Let's actually fortify. Actually, no, I can, I'm more confident in Napoleon fighting the open field. But apart from that, yeah, you can't auto. You can't hit them. Dresden secured. You're replenishing, although you can probably stand. No, your Berlin's actually quite good. You replenish quite quickly there. Apart from that, though, this front's fairly solid. We've got this other unit here, which... is going to sail. So what I'm going to do is all of these guys are going to sail to bolster this front. The troops over here in England will probably sail around to help destroy Italy or begin the attack against the Ottomans in the south. Because ultimately we've still got... We've still got uh, Wellington in somewhere. He's going to be in Ireland somewhere. So we've got Mr. Backstrom's marching up to Liverpool to then take a ship over to Dublin. We've got Mr. Almquist, who's here to the north, who's ready to move in to also hit the same place. And these guys are garrisoning Edinburgh. So I think in the grand scheme of things, there's nothing much to really do. Finland's recruiting some good infantry. And they'll need it, because you guys are going to... Actually, let's just use you guys. Foot Jaeger and Light Infantry isn't quite what we need. But we're going to move you all across. So you have six recruitment slots. Okay, two Svenska Guard, Life Grenadier, Life Guard Jaeger. Plus two Kurgan. Plus Curacier Regiment. Good. Keep you growing. We've, st we've still got Warsaw to take and maybe even Budapest, but we're not so bothered about Budapest yet. The Ottomans are still a risk. The Austrians, I should say. Uh, but let's hit end turn before we worry about that too much. Well, they're going to wipe out that little Prussian raiding force for me anyway. Nice. Okay, so all the Prussian troops are falling back to Breslau, which is good. We need to form our new front line with Russia. The Ottomans are going to Ottoman because they're now at war with Russia. So ideally, they'd start to take some ground from the south. Got a great museum in London, and we repaired a fort. 99 turns for large fortifications. I don't think so. Okay, you guys push up to the harbour. You guys are still replenishing. To be honest, is it going to be... It's going to take two turns to get the sloop, so you may as well, by, in two turns' time, we'll be in Ireland anyway. So push up to Mr. Almquist. So when we eventually want to declare on Austria, I might move you guys down to Venice. So we've got two armies, one to push Zagreb, one to threaten Vienna from the south. We've got one army here, probably like more. currently in raiding positions, but let's go into these forests here. Bring you guys south, and that's three armies in the north, which especially because we've only got really a handful of targets to chase down. Is Breslau fortified? It's not fortified, but let's siege them anyway, just to give them a bit of... Uh, just to give them a bit of attrition. Let's boot this ship out of port and let's use our 
death fleet to come and destroy it for good. Not that we've ever really needed to use our navy. Boom. We haven't really needed to use our navy because we can't actually build that many ships. Like this harbour, look how fast it can build ships. Not very fast. Certainly compared to how, many, how quickly we can build armies. Okay, let's make sure we haven't got any... Effort. Let's destroy that. Good. Okay. So you're still pushing up. The front line here is still forming. Recruitment here is on going. You guys can add another army to the continent because that will free up troops to go south. So you go there. You guys go there. So get two. You don't need all of them. Plus Valvade. And then this force here that is still replenishing, they can push to here to threaten Warsaw. Actually, Danzig might not even be that upset with us. You can push to secure this bridge. So we do have the man himself, Mr. Bluka. So we're going to siege there. I think I presume we have to keep Dresden occupied. Only minus two. I may as well keep you in there though. Yeah, 12 pounder artillery recruit in Sweden. Okay, we're destroying her for hit and turn again. See, Austria's getting some strength behind it. Oh god, there's a hidden Prussian stack right over the border. Hey, the garrison's going to sally. With the Schleichische Jäger in support. Let's do it. When, when we secure Breslau, there's only one... Prussian, no there's not, there's, there's a couple of Prussian territories, but Budapest is the one we can't get to. Not without attacking the Austrians, which actually I might want to clean, mop up the uh, Italians first. So definitely want my grenadiers to get in the town. A force to go in the town, a force to flank the town, cavalry to screen both flanks. Hello, Mr. Langre. The general is going to go in the town for sure. Howitzers are going to advance to provide some close support. My 12s are probably going to sit here. Unlimbered, fire at will off. Actually, they might just be forming a giant line because of that cavalry unit. So maybe advancing purely through the town is a bit of a dodgy idea. Yep, yeah, quite a wide line. Horse guards. I mean, lots of these units are not not that, not that they're any not that they're rubbish units, but they are just regular old units. Horse guard. I'm not bothered about. So if I can knock out the cavalry, 
Let's get you guys into the house, get you guys outside of the house under cover. Get my cavalry to run, because I want my 12s to engage the 7th. We have taken the building, sir. So you men face off there. Get my Bjornborg in on the flank. My militia can continue to push the flank. So if they're going for my foot Jaeger, which it looks like that's where they want to go. Newman also form square as we... Okay, we don't counter charge, we push the cavalry up the flank to go hit that unit of infantry. So I ran them into my... pike block. Fall back, beyond Borg. Newman hit the militia there. How it says get firing. You men charge the militia on that flank. Cavalry is broken, not shattered, but broken enough. New men counter charge the enemy general. We have killed their general, you guys withdraw, my 12s pound that regiment of militia. They're pushing. Out, oh, artillery. Good, the militia are done for. Our men are running. You men broke because you've been have been charged by two units. Simultaneously push the cavalry up on the flank. Okay, let's not stay in the town for too long. Rally the pike block. So there goes one of our there goes our horse guard unit, not just any horse guard unit. My cavalry is going to go after their artillery to the rear. So they've countercharged my cavalry. We countercharge their cavalry. Men go after their artillery. Fortunately, my, my general can't be everywhere at once. At least this really should attack so they don't take extra damage. You men, make sure you're hitting their centre with 
canister shot. My pikes are holding off, holding them off admirably. Make sure my general's back here as well. Okay, the cavalry is a bit of a trade. My cavalry's coming back. My pikes are finally giving up the ghost. My twelves keep on blasting them. You men withdraw. You're going after their gunners, which is nice. No, keep running. Their horse guards are coming after him, but we can manage that. That's one gun team de destroyed. My lights can go after the other. Their horse guards realise what's going on. Horse guards go after uh, their foot guards. Uh, our general is under attack. Unlimber the howitzers. Get my general over here to respond to a potential bayonet charge. There goes the enemy cavalry on the right flank. Their cavalry know what's the know what's up. You made a bayonet charge. The enemy. You guys go after the tenth regiment of militia. My general's here to pump up my morale. There we go. Charge on into the militia. Keep my howitzers falling back. Okay, there we go. So now you units can form up on the flank there. Well, one unit can form up on the flank. Well, switched around shot, aim at the militia barrage. Yeah, their, their heavy cavalry's realised we're picking off their gunners. You men withdraw. Go after troops here on the flank. Try getting my general over here. Our men are running, sir. Is that my cavalry? It is my cavalry. It's a bit of a bummer. Keep blasting the tent. Enemy skirmishers. Our men are running, sir. Cavalry in the town. Yeah, that was going to happen. Always oh, going to happen at some point. Blast the tenth. See if my horse guards can go after their general. Okay. 
you guys want to try and take out the Jaeger company. Not necessarily ideal. Good, my horse guards have come back. My gunners keep blasting the 10th regiment. I think my cavalry's running though. Yep, skirmish has managed to take them out pretty handily. Keep firing. Keep blasting that concentration. Bayonet charges are always a bit risky, but they, they are decisive one way or another. Slicer garrison. Just bring my troops in at this point, just bring them all in. Keep my cavalry on the move because it looks like we are managing to achieve us both focus on the 34th. Provide a bit of backup to my militia because they could well break because they are shaken Let's see if we can there we go excellent get my militia around on the right Our men are running my militia broke it's understandable Keep my cavalry, get my cavalry back towards the line, switch to round shot to engage the Schleuser Landwehr. So you guys are upset because you're being shot in the rear. Shows my cavalry just not got much stamina. It's not got enough. Come on, 43rd Regiment. I mean, there's no reason you should break before my skirmishes, but hello, militia can threaten the skirmishes there. Men of fatigue, sir, and must rest I don't give a damn. Inspire my man. It's a unit of militia that's coming back. That's not really what you want to see. I can't really pivot my flank too much because otherwise I'm going to lose the other flank. Make sure we haven't got any hidden units that haven't come back, that have come back from routing that we don't know about. You men trying to just sh just try shoot them, man. If you can't Our men kill are them. Running for that's in the centre here. Keep blasting the 10th. 
Okay, my cavalry can push forward and engage the 21st, hopefully knock them out. Oh, unfortunately, I was hoping I could use this flank to try and support here, but that doesn't look like that's going to happen. I'm relying on my 12s doing an awful lot of damage to their infantry. Because ideally, if I could win here, I could then pivot this flank up, clean up these units, and so on and so on and so on. You men get into the farmhouse again, rather than coming out. Glorious victory, sir! It's soon to be yours! Engage. Which was my general is really needed to support the right flank rather than the left. Even though the left could cost me my uh, the 19th horse guards. Attack ground near the enemy artillery. Well, round shot the horse guards. Because the theoretical result of this is I can do that. Hey, my militia came back. One of my, one of my regiments of foot came back. Good, we knocked out that unit of militia, but we want to make sure that they're knocked out. do a number on that artillery. Bayonet charge for 46. Uh, I thought you guys might stick it a bit longer than you did. Dropping the square because the cavalry's coming. Okay, so one thing I'm, I'm, I'm interested to try out. Howitzers firing canister. Holding them off here, because well, more of our units have come back from routing. Well, the Finska and the melee troops just get out on the flank and try hit them. It would be ideal if you guys came back. Well, you men hold here, you guys also support here. So let's see how this works. It looks like it doesn't. So they're going to get too close. Get on the flank with my militia. So if you men, okay, you can mop them up. If you men can mop up the Schlesjäger. The foot guards can advance. Artillery, general staff. Switch my guys to round shot. Engage the general's bodyguard at range.
pop my buffs. And charge the enemy there. Horse guards. That's the general staff still. Go get the general staff. Get my 12s to get to work on the 46th regiment. My howitzers also attack the 46th. All of you men except my artillery. And probably my two. No, actually, you guys form up. How it says, man your guns. 12, focus on the 21st Regiment. General Staff is routing. Bring my cavalry back. How it says, both focus on the 46th. We're engaging them at point blank range. But it's still not enough. Who's that back here? That's the cuirassier. Get my 12s to re-engage the cuirassier. My cavalry can deal with the 21st regiment, although they are exhausted, so this could go wrong. My foot Jaeger is still picking off the 43rd regiment, but it's not going to be decisive. get back up here although it sounds like there's charging it's charging that's going to happen you guys probably aren't going to come back so you men can come back as a bit of a reserve keep engaging their guns You might advance a little bit closer. How it says re engage the foot, get my cavalry to withdraw, because then my guns can continue to peck at them. You can also get Mr. Langre over here as well. There go the skirmishes. So you men about face to engage the 43rd. Oh man. There we go. The cavalry's up and ready. holding off. I'm hoping a little bit of actual musketry will see off the 43rd and then we can all focus on the 7th regiment. There goes 46th. Skirmishes are back on the right flank. Okay, maybe you men are going to advance over towards the right flank. So they're being shot out in the rear by the Jaeger. Get closer. You guys aren't even firing. 
I mean, you can't shoot. No, you're not. You're just not shooting. Focus on the general staff. My cavalry. My general is very exposed, but go get him! Oh, there we go. Well, See? The are, How bugged they can be when they're attacking stuff. Well, I think it's safe to say that this army is out of commission as far as uh, attacking the city is concerned. You just hit the... I'll go hit the 46th Regiment, because they're not in good shape. You guys are going to go hit their gunners, just to make sure that they don't come back. There's a lot of... stuff at play here. Keep the cavalry pushing through, even though the cavalry is quite badly depleted. Cavalry is king. And you guys won't be able to out-skirmish with Foot Jaeger in the farmhouse. Keep advancing. Stop the guns firing. Everyone go after the 7th Regiment of Militia. Because you guys are also very tired. Yep. Yeah. There you go. <clears throat> so this cavalry push up and let's speed up time because right now nothing's going to happen very quickly because it's just this skirmish unit it looks like they just want to chase after my troops that are fleeing and shoot at them rather than actually do stuff hey there little Jaeger how you doing yep you're going to do some good damage to my cavalry but he routed before my cavalry even touched you. But still, that goes to show the devils are fighting in the town. It's very easy for your army to get isolated and quite badly damaged. I'm not going to advance on the Prussians in the south because it looks like they are setting up for ambush. So I'd rather stay where I am rather than trigger the ambush. But yes, that army that's attacking Silesia or Breslau is going to withdraw. Withdraw and replenish. Otherwise, it could well get destroyed. Not so bad, because Mr. Steadink can advance. Well, you guys go back into Dresden. Oh, you guys are just out of range now. Yeah. Still, the Brez the, gar the garrison's been quite badly mauled, so you guys can just get here and recover your strength. You guys, well, I mean, I said I wasn't going to run away, but I'm probably going to try and run away. I'd rather Austria and Prussia um, battle it out rather than get me involved. I can push you guys up. You men can take position one side of the river. Because I see Mr. Blucher. You guys can hold Danzig just to prevent Russia from getting any ideas. You guys get up to Finland. And embark their troops. You guys aren't really going to be needed now, so you guys go there. You guys get into Alborg. 
replenish whatever superficial damage that was done to you guys. So these guys are these guys are skirmishes and so on that we don't really need yet in this army. Nine slots. So you can recruit three more units. Let's just get Finska in Delta Bavarde, there we go. Then that get two in Delta. Good. Just keep massing out the recruitment. You guys are close to being in position to advance over all together. Good. Okay, you guys are still redeploying to the south, although I probably want to send you here. If I'm going to take out the Italian Peninsula first, I want two on the front line to deal with the Papal States, then a couple to land at Palermo and then advance up the Peninsula towards Naples. So let's hit enter. They're fortifying Breslau, but we're just going to siege it and hold on to it while at the same time threatening Warsaw and also probably attacking Blücher and pushing him across the river. Yeah, the Russian armies are being brought to bear now. This is why I can't ever really stop recruiting in Sweden. And while I don't necessarily want to declare on Russia now, because the more time I spend, the more armies I can get in the field, and the more covered will be. <clears throat> Let's upgrade the sawmill, effort, upgrade to supply post, because again, it's mostly just replenishment now. We don't need we don't need the money. Okay, Rune Almquist, you cross the Irish Sea first and go after Dublin, where Arthur Wellesley is hiding with the Lightfoot Royal Marines, regiments of foot, elite troops, but not a full army. Not a full army. Elsewhere. Okay, so you guys get back to Breslau and just hold on to it. I just want you guys to do something. You guys push Warsaw from one direction. You guys are probably just going to attack Bluka to push him off the bridge. Lots of reserve musketeers. But looking at the timer, I believe it's time to end the episode. So, thanks for watching guys, hope you've enjoyed, and I'll see you next time. For hopefully, the destruction of Gerhard von Blücher's force and then we'll be pushing on to Warsaw, and also attacking Ireland. So thanks for watching guys, I hope you've enjoyed. Cheers everyone.